Greetings to our distinguished guest and Namaste. Have you ever felt the thrill of conquering a very difficult and challenging crime? Or the joy which you get for completing the puzzle, which took you so many hours and struggles? Now these steps which you take is a way of getting what you want. But if you think of these Indian youths, these steps are not just steps, but these are barriers and challenges which these fellow Indian youths overcome in order to pursue the career or their interest or their passion. Recently I saw this movie called Udan which was uh, directed by uh, Vikram Aditya Mohante if I remember. And this movie was one of such movies which really makes you think about what reality is actually. In this movie there was a 17 years old boy uh, who wanted to pursue his career in writing. He wanted to publish his work, he wanted to share his ideas with the world. But when he came back to his hometown, his father was a typical traditional and a backward minded father who wanted his son to pursue engineering, he wanted to see his son well settled, he wanted his son to be a well respected member of the family. At first I was so angry and frustrated at his father that how can a person be so ruthless and and how can he be so insensitive towards his uh, son's needs? But can we really blame him? The society has shaped him this way. That to think that writing is just a hobby, it can never be a job. This is a very common, a very, very crucial problem in the Indian society. Where we think that the way of writing or, or any passion in general can never be enough for our children. The problem of mental health issue is another very crucial problem in the Indian society. Have we ever thought that how the 17, 16 years old children have been struggling to go past the societal pressure, the parental expectations and prioritize their own happiness? I have been going through this. I have been through this, I have been struggling through this and I think it's very high time that the Indian society changes the way it thinks. It prioritizes the happiness of the children instead of the societal expectations of being a doctor, of being an engineer, being a lawyer. There are many other fields that the students, that, the, that these Indian fellows, which are the future of our nation, has to prioritize. I very much request in the end the judges or any person who is watching this video to at least go talk to the children, to the fellow Indian youth or any person who is around there of this age group of 16 to 18 or 20 years old to just ask how we are doing, what is the condition of the mental health, how, what do they want to pursue in the end. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity of expressing my views on the Indian youth and their struggles which are constantly grappling them in the whirlwind of parental expectations and societal pressure. Thank you so much.